Hello, this is the latest week of this module and uh, during this presentation the main concepts explained in previous lecture will be summarized. Let's begin with the Hardell concept and uh, it's a technology that aims to preserve and allow improvement in the safety and the quality of foods during extended periods of storage, as well as the economic properties of the food. But in itself, hardware technology as a concept has proved useful in the optimization of traditional food as well as the development of novel products. The hardware technology may be called combined methods, combined processes, combination preservation, combination techniques, barrier technology or hardware technology. And the main hurdle factors are reduced pH, which can be achieved through acidification and may readily prevent the growth of microorganisms, which are acid sensitive. Also, water activity may be an uh, important uh, hurdle factor when it's reduced, and the most of the solutes that are presented at increased concentration can reduce water activity. Uh, and the product may be partially dried, may be cured or conserved food by simple osmosis. Also, temperature, uh, most of the microorganism reacts to lowered and non-laterized temperatures by altering the composition of their membrane lipids. Observed fall in numbers of viable microorganisms in ardal preserved, especially in ambient stable foods during storage, has led to the concept of metabolic exhaustion. As for the stress reaction, the range of stresses to which microorganisms respond include heat, cold, high and low oxygen tension, rise osmotic pressure, rise level of sodium, heavy metals, ethanol and other chemical agents. Related to hardware technology for sustainable food processing is linked with food preservation which is based on hardware technology and meets consumer demands for safe, nutrition, tasty and convenient foods. It's gentle on resources since it's required little energy during processing and storage and is low in capital investment and is a uh, applicable in industrialized as well as in developing countries. Let now explain hurdles for food preservation. In fact, hurdle technology is increasingly used for food design in both industrialized and developing countries. The application of these technologies is suitable for optimizing traditional foods and even for making new products according to the needs. The microbial stability and safety as well as the sensory and nutritional quality of most preserved foods is enhanced when hardware technology is employed. So in the end we can say that hardware technologies allows a gentle and efficient preservation of foods and for this is advancing worldwide. Now let's present which are the major hurdles. In fact, the major forms of quality deterioration are minimized through application of a range of preservation techniques. And today most of currently employed techniques which act by slowing down the growth of microorganisms are for example chilling, freezing, drying, curing, conserving, vacuum packaging, modified atmosphere packaging, acidifying, fermenting and addition of preservatives. Let now explain the most important hurdles for food preservation. In fact, they include three major microorganism growing inhibitory hurdles. The first is reduced temperature for storage. The second is reduced water activity which can be achieved by partial drying or by addition of solutes like sodium chloride or sugars. The third is reduced pH, which can be achieved by fermentation or by addition of acids. Also one major microorganism inactivation hurdle can be mild heat treatment like pasteurization. Let's now explain the physical hurdles. 
When using processes intended to kill microorganisms, it is necessary to protect the food products after processing against microbial contamination. In fact, under the heading physical hurdles are included other techniques like heat, which includes sterilization, pasteurization, germization and bleaching. The other is radiation, including nanoionization UV, ionization. The third is storage temperature, is for the cases of chilling and freezing. Fourth is electromagnetic energy, including radio frequency energy microwaves, high electric field pulses, electroporation, oscillating magnetic fields, photodynamic inactivation, high intensity laser. Other physical hurdles include no coherent light pulses, ultrasonication, manothermosonication, ultra high pressure, packaging vacuum, active packaging, edible coatings, modified atmosphere packaging, including nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, modified atmosphere storage, controlled atmosphere storage, hyperbaric storage, aseptic packaging, microstructure control, etc. There are three types of heat processing sterilization, pasteurization and bleaching. About the heating method may be achieved through conventional heating in the case of application of water or steam or can be achieved by ohmic heating, microwaves, etc. Let now explain sterilization which is a heat processing technique and can be achieved when food is heated to a temperature of 100 Celsius degree or above at the coldest point. The sterilization is applied to obtain a destruction of bacterial spores. In order to make the product or canned food stable at least one year at ambient temperature. Let's now talk about pasteurization, which is a physical hurdle based on mild heat treatment. In this case, the food is heated to a temperature 60 Celsius degree to around 85 Celsius degree depending on the food product. At pasteurization temperature, almost all enzymes and vegetative microorganisms are inactivated and generally bacterial spores will survive. Bleaching is another physical hurdle based on heat processing. During bleaching, the food product is exposed to a range of temperatures from 70 to 100 Celsius degree. This process is mainly used for fruits and vegetables before further processing like drying or freezing. The main purpose of bleaching is to inactivate enzymes which could result in quality problems during subsequent storage and what is expected from bleaching is a substantial reduction of microorganism numbers. We consider storage temperatures as hurdles. Two regimes are relevant, such as chill temperature and freezer temperature. In fact, it's not a hurdle storage at ambient temperature or room temperature. Let's now consider chill temperature. Normally, chill storage means storage at temperatures between minus 1 Celsius degree and plus 15 Celsius degree. For perishable foods like meat, fish, dairy products, ready-to-eat dishes, etc. Chill storage is from minus 1 Celsius degree to maximally plus 7 Celsius degree. In some countries, the maximum temperature is plus 8 Celsius degree. Let's now consider another physical hurdle related to storage temperatures such as freezer temperatures. Freezing normally involves lowering the temperature and storage could be at minus 18 Celsius degree 
or below that is a case of deep freezing or quick freezing. Although minus 10 Celsius degree or minus 12 Celsius degree are used in some countries for summer foods. From practice, generally at temperatures below around minus 8 Celsius degree, there is no grow or microorganisms. Down to minus 30 Celsius degree, or even colder, can take place quality degradation processes, which are often caused by enzymes. I want to really thank you for your kind attention during this module and it was a pleasure to giving you information about Hardell technology, its application for food preservation. Thank you.